Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the CarPrite 701 Plus, which is a wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay system. So in the box itself we've got the actual unit, which I'll focus on later on. We've got two mounts. One is a 3M or screw-in mount type of mount. So if you'd like to, you've got four holes if you want to permanently attach it to your um, dash or you can use the supplied 3M sticker. We've got the um, car charger for the actual unit itself and it only works with the car charger plugged in. As you can see it's got a dedicated charging point. We've got a manual which explains how to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, then we've got the suction mount, which is the one I'm going to use in the review, um, which is highly customizable, as you can see. You can um, extend the actual mount, um, you can adjust the connection point as well to your liking. Um, I'll show you that when I'll be installing that in my car as well. Then we've got the uh, permanent uh, mount as well, well, um, tab. And then we've got the additional replacement for the um, connector. Okay, so that is the actual unit itself. Let's just peel off the screen protector. So on the back we've got a speaker, we've got a power button on the very top and then we've got the, um, uh, actually let me, yeah, that's that's easier. So we've got the USB port, we've got the charging port, AV audio video out, cam for reversing camera. Uh, we've got a micro, a micro SD slot and the external microphone connector as well. And then again, like I've mentioned, on the back we've got the 2 watt speaker and the mount itself the slots for the mount and that is pretty much it so in order to install it um, we just slide it up and that's pretty much it that's all done that's all it re requires and then like i said the mount is um, highly customizable so you can adjust it to your liking if you'd like to um, regardless if you're like me with the steering wheel on the right or steering wheel on the left. Okay, and this is the actual suction pad. So all you have to do is attach it and then there is a button on the back that you press to create pressure. So it attaches to your uh, windscreen. And then I'm gonna adjust it to my liking. Make sure everything is uh, connected securely. And then on the bottom, we're going to plug in the charger itself, which is plugged into a cigarette lighter, 12 um, volt charger in your car. Now I'm going to power up my car. As you can see, it runs on Android 12, which again, um, I'm going to discuss more in detail later on. So this is the actual user interface. So in order to use Android Auto, you have to connect your device via Bluetooth, um, but you also to your phone, but you also have to connect it via Wi-Fi. So the password for the Wi-Fi is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for the Bluetooth, as you can see, it's four zeros. It is in the manual itself. Um, we also need to make sure that on your, on your phone, your Andro Android Auto, uh, the wireless option is turned on. Now, by default, it is turned on, but if in the past you've ever switched it off or something, you have to go to developer settings and you need to make sure that wireless Android Auto is switched on. Like I said, if you've never switched it off or you've never used the developer settings, 99.9% uh, .9 it's going to be turned um, on anyway. So button wise on the left, we've got the recent buttons and then we've got the settings button. So you've got a Wi-Fi, you've got a hotspot. You've got the screen off, screen saver, so you can set it off to one minute, five minutes or 30 minutes, how long you want the screen to stay on. You can dim the screen, you can adjust it to day, night and auto and obviously the slider itself above you can use as well. FM vo volume is for the built-in FM transmitter and volume adjust is for the built-in speaker. Okay, so 
mirror link allows you to link uh, sorry mirror whatever you're doing on your phone and then you've got the different options for audio so aux if you don't have a bluetooth in your car fm audio is a bit built-in fm transmitter so you just set it up to the frequency um, uh, on your car radio and it basically shares the audio bt transmit allows you to transmit the bluetooth sound and bt projection is needed for the actual android auto to work native audio uses the built-in speaker then files so this is your files commander so what you've got on your actual device uh, again i'll focus on that slightly later on in the video display of pretty much self-explanatory carplay android auto i'll show you that in a second and these are the built-in pre-installed apps and then you've got the settings themselves so if you want to you can connect it to an external wi-fi let's say at your home or your phone hotspot just to download additional apps then the storage itself so you've got 32 gigs of internal storage and two gigabytes of ram and then we're going to go on to the android auto so like i said make sure you're connected to bluetooth and wi-fi um, so there is a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, again it is all explained in the manual, but just make sure you are connected. Audio separation, so if you want to, you can have the unit being silent and uh, sharing the audio connection to your Bluetooth uh, system in your car, which is how I've got it set up in my car. Okay, so we have a 7-inch beautiful IPS display. We've got, this is the Android Auto. We've got shortcuts to dim the screen, adjust the volume, the home button if we want to go back. And then we've got the actual Android Auto unit itself. It is a wireless Android Auto. Same applies to Apple CarPlay. What it means, it means there are no cables or wires required apart from the charger that charges the actual unit. No cables, nada. You don't need Android Auto in your car or anything like that. All you need to have is either an iPhone or an Android phone, which does support Android Auto, and that's it. I'm using a Fold 4, as you've probably seen in the Bluetooth settings. Um, so as long as your device does support Android Auto, you're good to go. All you need is the unit itself. Okay, so this is the actual Android Auto. Now I'm going to turn off my car just to show you that once it is set up, all it needs is to be powered on. So you only connect it to Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, not your Wi-Fi, the actual units, the car provide Wi-Fi. Once, once that's set up, you just turn your car on. It takes a couple of seconds, and then as you can see, it all happens automatically. I'm not clicking anything. It d goes into Android Auto or Apple CarPlay mode on its own, which is brilliant. You don't have to press anything. You can just literally start your car, start driving, and as soon as it happens, uh, as soon as it turns on, uh, you're good to go. Now, apart from that, it is an actual normal Android unit. So as you can see, it's got a built-in Chrome browser. If you want to use a different browser, just literally go to the Play Store. Um, which is um, over here. Just takes a couple of seconds to load up. And then, I don't know, if you want to uh, download an additional uh, video player, you can do so. Um, I'm going to download VLC. It does come with a pre-installed video player, the actual unit, CarPride unit. However, um, I personally prefer the VLC, but I'll show you in a second. You can actually use both. You can use the pre-installed one which means you don't actually have to connect to anything. Uh, and then as it is an Android unit, it also allows you to download additional apps like, for example, Fruit Ninja, which I will show you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna fire up VLC. Over here. Just the initial setup. As you can see on the left hand side, I've got the USB pen drive connected. So I did use the USB A port on the side of the device and um, I'm using it to share the videos I've got downloaded on it. Obviously the device itself does have 32 gigs of internal storage so you can just move the files around or you can just leave the pen drive plugged in. 
Um, and as you can see, this is a video I have obviously have on my channel, but this is also a video I've just downloaded and put it on the pen drive and then uh, left it on the pen drive itself. But again, like I said, if you want to, you can transfer it onto the 32 gig inter internal storage of the actual unit if you don't want the pen drive sticking out. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, like I said, you do have a built-in file commander um, that allows you to browse files on your device or again on your pen drive. So as you can see, I'm just gonna click that and play the video again. And this is using the built-in video play, which is built into the file commander and the car provide unit. Um, so you don't need any additional video players, literally just a case of plugging in. You can also use the memory card if you want to, because as you've seen, the unit itself at the beginning of the video I showed you does have a built-in memory card reader. Okay, and the actual file commander itself also allows you to browse pictures. So if you've got any pictures on your pen drive, memory card, or on your internal storage, um, you can just browse them as well. So pretty neat device, and again, it doesn't require you downloading anything or even connecting to Google Play Store. And then again, if you're bored, I don't know, you work on Uber or Bolt or something like that, and you're bored, nothing's happening, you can actually download some games and you can play them as well. The screen is very responsive, um, high refresh rate as well. So as you can see, it works absolutely brilliant. And to be honest, I'm actually quite surprised with the device itself. Um, for the price you pay, you do get a full-blown Android Auto unit. Um, so yeah, overall, a very, very good device. And if you'd like to buy your own W701 Carp Ride unit, there is a discount code in the video description below together with the link to the product website where you can choose your own unit. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. If you do have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Take care, everyone. Bye.